Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for watching the weekly update last week in February. And thanks to the over 130 of you who came out to Valentine's Day last week. Awesome time. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, lots of positive feedback from that. So, so looking forward, we're going to have about three or four events coming up in March. And those details are going to be released really soon. One's going to be focused around wine. We want to increase our wine selection. So we want your help to do that. So there's going to be a wine central event. One's going to be around draft beer, right? We've got six taps, the flavors or brands are going to be changing very, very frequently. Help us figure out what you want to see on there. Um, we also have Easter coming up, believe it or not, a little more than a month away. So look for our, you know, our Easter activities, which would be a hunt on one day and the Easter brunch on another. Also, believe it or not, the pub is going to be reopening at the end of March. So uh, we're looking to do a little preview of it. So lots coming on the food and beverage front. Um, so just stay tuned. That's coming as we get closer to it. On the golf side of things, boy, we've had some great weather to start February off. Um, we're going to continue to monitor weather. If we're open and can available, we're going to expand schedule. Now, in March, we'll kick back to being open six days a week. So Tuesday through Sunday, we're open. We're still closed on Mondays, um, but Tuesday through Sunday, we'll be open with carts available as long as the weather permits. Uh, all the golf tournaments for the season are now out there and open. So Season-long match plays are up there. We've got Icebreaker, Spring Member Member, Two Man. You know, it may seem like they're far off, but the Icebreaker is less than 30 days away. So, you know, time to start thinking about, boy, it's golf season again, which is which is certainly awesome. Um, the pink fitting day for this afternoon, Thursday night, is about sold out. So pretty much full on that day. TaylorMade's coming back on Sunday, March 11th. And as I said last video, we're doing fittings almost daily. So if this is the year you're going to get new clubs, Get on the schedule and uh, let's get it going. The other thing I wanted to tell you about 1921 Club. We're going to automatically bill anybody that was enrolled last year at the end of February. So if you need to make a change to your plan, if you want to add money, if you want to decrease, um, now's the time to do it. We're going to auto bill in February. If you're a new person that hasn't participated in before, you still have the end of March to do it. But if you have, look for your statement that comes out March 1st to have your 1921 Club enrollment, which is just a great deal. Remember, you're getting... 25% bonus on whatever you invest. Last thing I want to talk about this week is the upgrade options for membership. So now through the end of April, you have the opportunity to upgrade your membership, whether you're in a social category, whether you're in an introductory category, any category that's not full golf access. If you upgrade by the end of April, you get 10% off your dues through June of next year. So really a great savings. If you were thinking about playing a little more golf, expanding your membership options, uh, talk to me, talk to Madeline. We can certainly help walk you through what it looks like in terms of a cost perspective and the benefits that you're going to be afforded. Lots of new stuff out there in terms of introductory membership, still running that program. But if you're sitting there watching this video in a non-full golf category and you want to have unlimited golf access, time to start thinking about it. So folks, thanks again to all those who came to Valentine's dinner or a fitting day last week. We're looking forward to more great things on the food front and more great bonus golf in February and March. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.